yes, finally, 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 of course, we are back with another Talk About video. Um, give them a full final thoughts for the 6th year anniversary. I do this every year. I, you know, if you're new and stuff like that, of course. I, if you're new, I've been doing this every single year, ever since about 4 year. I didn't do it during 3 year. I just randomly did it during 4 year for over the anniversary. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this anyway, though. So, yeah. Um, again, I just I do this every anniversary. Um, I do it for both Gold Boy and JP. Uh, JP's I got like, oh, way late last, like, I think from like January all the way from like now to like beforehand, like last year, 2020 ish i got like the jimmy video out way like whatever because i was you know a boy of content i can put some stuff again i record and uh, do so many videos i just kind of do you know, some of this content kind of blend together so i just kind of gets old a little bit but overall though i'm giving overall full thoughts for the anniversary and stuff like that of course on um, full response because it's like the last kind of like anniversary moments and stuff like that so yeah i was gonna i was trying to wait until the anniversary is fully fully over at times recording i think it's like three more days four more days japan time um, I again, I did not again. I did not like. Um, I kind of like to go like I do like wait until everything's fully, fully over to get my full thoughts and opinions for this. Though of course, but yeah, let's get started. Um, so yeah, uh, sixth anniversary was actually really, really good. In my opinion, those my full thoughts and stuff like that. Again, I'm just going with full thoughts, full reactions, nothing else. Nothing else matters. I'm not going over the units. I did that already for all those other videos. So if you want to go check them out, they'll be above or somewhere around me. If you're new and stuff like that, of course. Because I know a lot of people are new and, and I was going to get these questions a lot. And don't, for, and don't ask them what's coming up another bit. So yeah, but don't worry guys for global because this will all be in, um, this will all be in July, July 7th, from July 1st to 6th, we'll have the full countdown, um, every, it's every July, it's been like that since like last year and year before, we, typical pattern, we always kind of know, so yeah, and of course, like, and for JP's pattern is like, you know, like the last couple of weeks of January, um, we'll get leaks, the full February will be a whole entire month, and March will be kind of the ending point, so that's how it's been structured. And for Global, it's just all of July, so they all get it in one. And plus, we already kind of was coming out for Global anyway, though, so it doesn't really matter. Um, like how we like we protect it because the whole month of July is just the whole month of July for Global, and a little bit, and you know, after that, it's August, then like August kind of oh, a little bit until August, then like um, until like yeah, August, then the ending I want to say was is August, I'm trying to think of it, August. Until like um, September, who else on this one? Get the Dallas celebration stuff. I do Dallas celebration as well. But that's more Goldboy and JP both combined with one. It's like a Goldboy and JP celebration thing. Um, in case you're new and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, um, next time I'm just gonna come up a little bit. Though. So yeah, so let's get started. Of course, again, if you're new and stuff like that, I'm going for everything. Just reacting. That's it. I do videos for this already, so go check those out if you haven't already. I may make a whole tier, a whole tier list, a whole video for I'll say for anniversaries. I would not do that. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll make a whole like list part for both Global and JP separately. Um, just kind of like different beyond the information because you know some stuff come out may come out for Global early, some of my stuff might come out late. Gold might get this unit, that unit, some of my opinions might change, or you know everything might go later on. So I don't care how long this video is going to be. I'm just going to you know give my full thoughts and opinions for the anniversary overall. So yeah, um, right here just the countdown and stuff like that. It's kind of typical where you count down, you get tickets for a ticket banner. It's only just SRs and SSRs, but you can get a certain amount of bars in there. I think last year was kind of limited, but this year I think they dumped it up a lot for um, LRs this year, so yeah. Um, of course we have um, some a little bit stuff here, like yeah, we have like, the countdown, we get tickets for every day for the um, ticket banners. Um, this one right here, I know it's, um, yeah, same kind of stuff, special missions. So these are, no, these are comeback campaign stuff, but basically people who have quit the game or just specifically came back to the game or just be new and stuff like that, these missions are for you guys. Not just for you guys, but I think for both of us. It's, again, not going to but it's for both people who just like, you know, people who are starting out in Dokin and just people who are coming back. I think because they know people, you know, quit the game and come back. So they give the prizes and rewards. They just kind of cheat it, but then it's like, okay, if you want to give this unit, that unit, like a thousand day Goku or, you know, ZVA, you have to log in for like a certain amount of days. So people can't trick that system anymore because people always just trick the system on logging in. I um, mean, coming back and whatever. Um, to get the prizes and stuff like that. I mean, I think it resets every update because I think I got that twice, I believe. Um, so yeah, these are um, line missions only for JP, where basically you have like line, like kind of um, application where you can go, like just press the line button and get tickets. So yeah, Global will have like to peel off trails and stuff like that. These are all the typical stuff down here, like stamina, three minute stamina. Um, the stamina time gets cut down to three minutes, so you can have a little bit more later earlier. I'm um, just all the best events, all the um, old anniversary um, missions and stuff like that from like last year are back as well. Again, anything from last year anniversary is here, so that's pretty much everything they kind of down there. So um, that's pretty much kind of it down there. So okay, that was really fun. Um, right here, I believe it's the part one for the anniversary. Okay, this is part one. 
Um, so yeah, this um, yeah, we had like three new tickets this year. I mean, just typical login bonus ticket. You log in, get tickets, someone on the banner, however you feel like it. This is, this is a 66 ticket, or basically you have a six ticket unit banner, which basically you can like summon again. Part one, part two, and part three has certain amount of missions, or basically you can get like tickets right here. Yeah, part one had like a couple, like you know, other like what 16, part two had 18. The last part had a um, the last few, so basically during the whole anniversary, you'll get all these um tickets again. Part one have a um, set amount, they'll have a certain cutoff, they'll have a set amount of tickets, they'll have a certain cutoff point, you know, for the tickets like 26 or whatever, a certain number. Then, um, of course, the next part, part two, will have you know, a couple in the last part will have um, basically. Um, the last ticket, so you can see something like that. You get 66 units, and the last one will be in the lower. And there's a stone bridge of that banner as well. It's the same exact thing. Again, you get 66 units, 66 units. And last year was 55, this year is 66. Um, you can get that and um, summon on that banner or get um, 66 units. Last one will be in guarantee LR. It's all random, by the way. So, yeah. Again, you can get also multiple SSRs as well. I think Devil Celebration kind of did that, so you want all those tickets done out the way. Uh, we got, of course, movies. We always have those every year. I know part one have one. Part two means we didn't have one at all. Part three was like, kind of like the full ending of the anime. So it was super shame wrong, so that was kind of cool. I didn't come to put those on the post those on the channel, but I heard those got copyright claims, so I don't want to respect that for my channel specifically. Um, so yeah, these um, special missions, of course, uh, we stuff we get like all the time. We had like six year coins, so basically, if you guys don't know, we had winning and losing versions, you know, global versus JP cards that were exclusive to those events during the demo celebration, which is a global and JP share celebration, share celebration. Um, that's where we um, got like you know the six year coins. I mean, you can get some of those versus tunes like a Goku, Vegeta, typical stuff like that. Um, yeah, again, these are like all special missions and stuff like that. We had like a rebrand co op campaign. Um, I forgot what it was about. I completely forgot about that. Um, the Dual Dark Defense banner for LR Unit Master, UI Goku, and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, those are two new cards. We have the Dark Defense events. Then we had the twos in the, um, in the thing as well. Again, part one's always insane. Part one's always insane. Then cool down for a week, then part two comes out, cool up for another week, then part three came out. Um, this is the 66 banner units. Um, again, I was talking about again, you'll have a certain like time to do this and stuff like that. So, yeah. again, by the time this goes up, all this will be pro oh, yeah, dang, yeah, I just know the um, dates today. See, so, yeah, I was pretty much almost, almost just kind of over. I think, again, like I said, three couple more days. Um, this is just the regular login bonus for the six. Again, if you log in with the six here, you get these tickets, um, and you'll just, um, some and get these tickets. You can summon these whenever you feel like it. They have some LRs. So the 66 ones remain go priority. Again, it's, the stone version is 200 like it was last year, so it might sound. Give me 666 for you know, those whale players. Like, not like me, but I have I kind of whaled out this year a little bit because I did some on Freeze's banner, Super Saiyan for Gogeta banner. But with I don't really need to. I might just end up picking up one that Future Gohan or AGL Cooler. Cooler. AGL, um, yeah, AGL Cooler. AGL, um, what was it called? Um, it's Super 17. Um, Super 17. Oh my lord, Android 13. So yeah, this was um kind of ticket I was talking about. Like you can just winning and losing versions of the cards so that's a couple of years. Redstone banners, those are redstone banners, redstone tickets, redstone, redstone on the board. Redstone's always typical where, where you can basically red and purple stones are always typical. Those come back almost every big celebration or anniversary. You can select a unit with this, like any selectable units with these. Purple stone you had to buy them, like you actually had to go in the game and buy them with the actual money and stuff like that. So yeah, um that's kind of behind a paywall. Like free to play, paywall. So I guess for those levels out there. And of course Dragon Stone sales. I think we have some EG Bond, another another line thing where you get stones. Or the Kai banner, as always a very celebration. We had a couple new events, story events where I do we had like a couple of units for seven units. I think it was the Android 18 and Chromeland, Master Roshi and Tien and and they got all getting from this event. This one gave us this event gave us a new LR Master Roshi. Like last year with some also we had a whole event and stuff like that. A new event where basically Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I completely forgot about this. This is a new completely new event where basically you can get um um, which probably you can get like equipment for reference unit for seven. So if you have some crits or whatever, we have basically Majin Buu had, um, we had like, like Fit Buu before preparing for the war, preparing, preparing for the um, tournament. I haven't really drained out. I had to, whew, I can't, I had to break something in the house a little bit drained out from walking and carrying a little bit. So yeah, uh, we had this new event where we basically, yeah, getting like reference unit for seven equipment just for only those units. Um, it's really good for the, um, again, like the, um, LRs and stuff like that. That's gonna be really, really good. Um, because again, it's just like free, like essentially almost like, for the first time you use it, it's kind of black, but, um, overall stuff like that is gonna be like really, really good because, you know, like credits additional because you want to do so those three units. I mean, probably four additional, honestly. We had a new event called the Guide, um, you know, I think it's like the, some, okay, so if you're scaling up the transparent guy, uh, yeah, I think gathering of the gods, I think that was called. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Because we had, um, uh, what do we call it? We had like, yeah, basically, all the guys, we had to fight for all the guys that got instructions. Four at a time, because part one had a couple, part two had a couple, and part three. Um, so yeah. 
Um, overall though, um, honestly, it was actually a really difficult event. When I saw it, I was like, oh, this is kind of different, you know, it was a completely different event. They find every guy's destruction, of course, they're tough and mean, of course, because like, like, the guy's destruction, like, that's, that's what they do, go all out with type of things. Um, this is all the typical stuff we already had. I think we had some new battlefield, that's always typical. Uh, we had some Ichiban clad figures for all these, like, units like God Goku, Transforming Trunks, Go 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 Buck last year, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 in, in Gohan and B-Pan. We can get missions for those, like, go, go like, go in the B-Pan. We had, like, a new B-Pan event, basically. It's still, it's still like, oh, I kind of like the old B-Pan event where we had to, um, um, basically, you know, go in and get some stamina. Um, but on top of that, you can get some of those missions done to get some extra B-Pan medals. And we all thought it should be easy, A, but the anniversary was mainly, you know, with, they specifically did translate, um, the bones of um, Universe 7 specifically though, so yeah. That was, that was kind of typical though, so yeah, this, um, that was all kind of new there. And all this other stuff, there's only just new events and stuff like that I'm going through. I don't need to like really waste my time with all this other you know, stuff we kind of already know if you're new, but if you're old, you know it's the typical anniversary format. Because part one's always insane, part two is just like, you know, it's still hype, like still hype, amazingly hype, but uh, let's see right here. Uh, go back up, 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 how long is the freaking list? Um, yeah, part one's always insane again because the first part of the anniversary. That's what they should do, go all out. Um so yeah, um Oh man, they're really me out. Um carrying out of carry at work. So uh, yeah. Um part two we had a couple of new things. We had of course um uh, special missions, all that still so typical. Updates to these events where I can finally do away from Master Roshi L R and of course Krillin Master Krillin AT Master Roshi and yeah, they all got awakenings. You got Goku, our first ever category unit UCA that shocked everybody. These are more events and new stages like you had to fight off more gods of destruction. I don't remember the names, so some of them I do. I'm not, I'm not gonna pronounce on my video. I'm not doing that to myself. Um, new event Dragon Ball history. We had that last year as well. And we had like a, I think, not a new boss rush. So yeah, this was our very first ever category unit UCA, so this one was completely different. So it was, it was amazing. It was great. When the first came out. He was like, oh my gosh. Like, you like Goku for the internet like, what, three, four, five times now at this point, so, uh, yeah. Other thing I had down here, we had like a new, I think this was, was kind of it. You looked at some of the um, banner unit for part two, it's always super cool. I know that's, so some sales again, they always do that. I know just call missions like we had to file against, um, uh, what, what was it, Anna Raza? From, I don't remember what universe number that was, so again, I just, again, I, again, I just re watched re re a lot of Terminator Power beforehand to kind of get like, everything done. Not before this video, but way before the anniversary, I was hyped, I was like, I enjoyed every moment of the Terminator Power. A lot of people were like, oh yeah, part two, LR was going to be Kefla and Bergamo and Trio Danger and Maiden's Love is like, guys, they're going to do this like, way down the line, but not right now. Again, they said specifically with the Bonds of Universe 7, but I know, I know the original leaks were kind of like, you know, um, universe 6 versus 7, which honestly would have been that bad, honestly. You know, I kept a lot, I kept a lot, I kept a lot, you know, versus like, match you, I go through. But the early for like, Evolution would be like, because the match Goku and stuff like that would be wise, so. That's good. On um, part 3, pretty much kind of like the Robert Burr thing. We had like a, you know, just little, little again, like little stuff like we had last year. We had like a campaign where we basically, we basically get like a general wallpaper. Submissions so just doing the new Easy A for a new LR Goku and Frieza. So this is our first ever small LR, just a small LR Easy A. So yeah, I was saying LR Easy A for last year, which makes sense last year. It was being our first ever free to play LR Easy A, which our free, first ever Easy A in general for LRs. And we got this guy. So yeah, that broke the internet again. Easy A for these guys, all the new things I just talked about, more gods, event stages, new schools of champion for Jiren, and that's pretty much it kind of overall for the celebration. Celebration, combine all this into one, it was a lot. Like, like this is how anniversary should kind of roll out though, but like I said in general, it's pretty much, it was pretty much insane though. Like I said, um, this was all insane. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, with the LR Goku and Frieza Easy A, with the um, UI Goku Easy A again, when that popped up, I was like, it was pretty but when it part popped up, when it first popped up, eh? I was, was super excited. I was hype, hype, hype for it. So yeah, it was all awesome, all great and stuff like that, of course. So yeah, um, th again, th it was all just insane. That was, that was just a celebration, by the way. I haven't even gotten to the units yet, so let's get that started. Uh, these were all, I think, the stones we kind of got, because of course, you know, like last year we hit number one a couple of times. Um, so the overall was like, what, 855 because of some of those comeback missions, so you got a little bit more if you came back, so like that, so, or it's around the same amount of so yeah. You get those comeback missions for everybody anyway, though, so it doesn't really matter. They don't lock it off to just, you know, people who come back a little bit, but just, it doesn't really matter, though, so everybody can participate in those missions. Okay, I'm um, hitting number one once, like we did last year, twice, again, six year was insane. Um, 
this one was new because I should read in um, get like Elgo Goku Black and Bullet Gina Limbo because I think Demon Slayer had a collab which was a big thing even now in Japan Demon Slayer is still a thing I don't even watch it it's a big thing so we didn't hit that one last year I think that was pretty much it and this is just a big thank you for this um, celebration overall we had this last year as well and I was afraid they weren't, weren't going to do it but they did anyway though so yeah we got 30 stones one grand kite each typing six button Hercule, Hercule statues um six pop control shells six um yeah, wrong one. Uh, six, uh, did it? Up? Okay, six, um, what do you call it? Six, um, gravity chambers. It makes sense because Vegeta Dream in there and six, um, 60, um, anniversary coins. So that would be six, six. But next year is going to be like all seven because Doken they love seven. I'm shocked this wasn't this. I mean, maybe it would have been too typical. Maybe. I feel like this would have been way too typical for, um, seven year because, you know, universe seven, 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 seven. Because Doken loves seven. They love their seven. So yeah. Now, finally, I think time to get into the units, I believe. Um, Right here? Okay, so yeah, we got a new method UI Goku. We came with a new category called Miraculous Awakening, which basically means anybody who has just kind of random like form out of the blue nowhere. It was a new category basically or basically means basically basically. Well basically anybody who's been his new category Miraculous Awakening, basically for anybody who's been beaten in a format has come back more no actually no this video is basically anybody who has um who just gotten like a form out of nowhere, who has achieved a form that just came out of nowhere. I think Super Saiyan 3 is on there, I believe. I know Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's on there. You know, I go every you know, Goku's could be on there. I know Cell's on there, it makes sense because he did die. He didn't know how like he came back just because of Saiyan Cell. And he basically went Super Saiyan 2 at that point in the series. So yeah. Um so yeah, Goku was really good. He can create on his support attacks, which you know how the other unit has done. He does a lot. He has a paragraph log pass right there. He can dodge. He basically uses SCR UI Goku on crack essentially. He's good. I don't know what they're linking really with this guy. But for Global and JP, I don't care which one. I'm just going to go for both anyway. I've been doing that for every anniversary. Yeah, I've been doing that for every anniversary because I always usually go for like one unit, like Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I just went straight for um, this one. I've I, I, I just been going for both anyway. So I'm going to just go for Bark at this point. Well, I do have the stones that kind of like, you know, to satisfy myself to do it. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so satisfy myself. So yeah, Goku, I'm really impressed with him. He's actually really good, stuff like that. And again, let's come off of Goldblum and give my full thoughts again, just over everything, because everything's been translated. Maybe some of my points will change. Again, Re Representative Bro 7 is actually really good for this. I feel like it should have been Goku doing this, and Vegeta could have gotten like. Because they both represent Universe 7. I feel like Vegeta could have been pure Saiyans. Goku being represented in Universe 7 is actually really good, but Vegeta is more. I think it's. This his new category in Representative Universe 7. I feel like it really should have been pure Saiyans, because I know it's one of the evolution for Vegeta. And never that he rumored yeah, he was gonna get an easy A for the celebration, but he did not sadly. It'd be cool, yeah, two category easy A's, like three of them technically. So, because Goku and Frieza are technically the first ever LR category leader. They are a category leader for episode Universe 7. So, yeah, again, that team got a lot of balls for this update because, again, this ball was all the bonds of Universe 7. So, it's really cool. And active skills are amazing as well. They have active skills, revival skills, which was new for the celebration, though. Um, this video right here, again, for him specifically. He did also introduce a new mechanic, which was rumored as well, to have a costume mechanic, basically, after he does an active skill, his armor will completely come off of him, so that would be, um, Vegeta right here, so, again, I did this, act I did this active, active skill, the final explosion, he'll just, all his armor will just come off straight up, so that's really cool for him, um, but yeah, overall, though, realistically, um, to think of it. Um, his new, his new category was for, for Vegeta, which we all speculated in new categories. Again, it's, last year we had Final Trump Kart, which Goku, Gogeta, and Vegeta led, which actually was really good because you got assuming for either, either or. But I feel like Vegeta could be in pure Saiyans because just Kabba and his, act, his active skill and stuff like that. But his revival skill, because the revival skills have so many, because this is a chance for Doku to do more animations. But they did hit the mark on this. They really did hit the mark on his tunes. They have like, um, 12, 18 key super attacks, active skill, revival skill, like there's just so much. And revival skill is basically been beaten and come back. And for Vegeta's category, it's really bad. So the area who's been playing by who's been beaten in their form has came back um just stronger like that like been knocked down came back um yeah and all gta yeah i think every not every video but yeah blue all blue videos are gonna be on there for tournament of power because he did get he didn't really get beat by topo but he kind of like you know he, he hit Topo him in a soft spot like cattle and like well, he's only fighting for a saying but the Denver video can't actually did come back he actually did do a big comeback because he did beat go uh, topo gobo topo god destruction topos um just Hakai which is a pure bare fist, which is still awesome. It's like he's just or using his aura. Also, Vegeta is the first ever unit to um but in Vegeta though, of course there's gonna like that's pretty simple as well. Again, I heard the both categories they have more potential to grow in the future, in my opinion, everybody says they suck. But when it comes out for global again, I'm gonna give my both thoughts at the end. It'll probably be the same thing because for categories lately, they have been doing this um where basically you have to keep the same name and everything. So yeah. Um but yeah, though, um, I cannot wait for this, um, just, again, it is really cool, again, he is the first ever unit to ever have this, but basically, um, he has this kind of costume mechanic, where basically, again, I can just have to skill, and all his armor will completely come off, so, I pressed it, I, I did, okay, it won't load, 
me the video messed up? I think I might mess up. Okay, I guess it just didn't want to work today. I guess so, okay. There we go, that took a little while to load, I guess. Um, but yeah, I probably guess um, I am doing all this at the same time, so yeah. Um, gosh, what I'm more time with my video messed up. I think my video might messed up. Okay, now it's good, it's fine, okay. So basically, yeah, this is um, Vegeta's like whole cosmic mechanic thing, where basically, yeah, he'll, he'll his, his armor, which come off his hair will glow. And his, 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 him and Goku, like, his hair glows anyway, so it's actually really good though. But yeah, like I said though, he's the first ever you to kind of do this and stuff like that. I had the first ever like cosmic mechanic kind of thing, so yeah. Um, let's go into the next one, I believe, was, um, Master Roshi, um, of course. The video card are messes up, don't blame me, it's just that uh, some of the stuff is going on on screen anyway. New Ella Master Roshi, I'm really impressed with this guy, he's probably my favorite unit of the whole anniversary, um, because he basically, um, he's a completely different unit. Again, what you got is he's yay, um, I think he has a great chance of stunning now, I believe, for his pet, for his super attack, and second part is more ceiling. But yeah, again, he's a good unit, Troll School category, that's his new category. Which is really cool, which is really good. There's like every Goku, Krillin, Yamcha, everybody on with that team, so that scene is really good though, of course. But yeah, um, like I said overall though, uh, Master Roshi, I'm really impressed with him. He's amazing, he's great. I love the card, I love the scene. All mystical, all amazing. It's just good overall. I love this card. They did a really good job with this card. Probably one of the best replay cards. Um, Team Leader 7, this was our very first team ever Team Leader 7 unit. Again, we could get like a Golden Freeze, like Team Leader 7, like a What If. Um, 17 Goku, Ultimate Gohan, like we get Ultimate Gohan at 17 RIP because he's in the card right again. We get LR Ultimate Gohan before Kid Boo. We get LR Balzac before Kid Boo. But yeah, they're mainly just Rep Zoom for 7 support, honestly. Uh, but they are still really good though, but they're mainly only we had on Rep Zoom for 7, sadly, which makes sense because you know all of Zoom for 7 in here anyway though, so yeah. It's pretty simple and straightforward for these guys anyway though, so it's like Pretty much, yeah, they're busy made for King Number 7, but they are still really good though, but again, only we're up to for 7 pretty much. Um, the last LR we kind of got for Celebration was um, Golden Freezer and of course 17. They're really great as well, again, they're basically honestly LR Gohan and Gulf 10 on crack a little bit. Um, no, actually no, the LR Gohan and Gulf 10 did give me crits, and I have seen the gameplay and stuff like that pretty much. But yeah, love the card art and stuff like that at the moment when they finish off, like kind of Neo Down Journey, which is really good. And the animations are amazing as well, which is really good. Um, our first ever LR EZA right here, some of the EZA is Gohan. Goku and um, Frieza. Again, didn't really change that much for his guys, honestly, though. They didn't change at all. They just gave him, like, attack down and defense down. They gave him, you know, when a uh, person's or enemy's attack defense down, attack defense stats are just basically just down, like, when you get that little prompt when you load up attack and defense. That's where they're gonna be really good. And, um, or, you know, if they're stunned, if this, and if they're stunned or what, or, you know, if they're stunned, if they had the attack down, had defense down, or they're stunned, um, basically, um, yeah. Or when the target's enemy, and basically any effect, like attack, defense, low ring, um, sun, stunned, or sealed, essentially. Um, that's what they would be their best at, and of course they get one every time, um, every time that happens. No, no, that's just completely different. So attack, defense, down, status, and attack, defense, down, status, and steel status, that's where they're gonna, um, be at their best at. And of course, when all your, again, you get all those kind of little mini buffs when you, of course, you get all those little effects. But that's I'm pretty much it for them though again um then of course you know that's it's different from that little like wording right there i said like with seal that's completely different part that's a completely different part of the passive right there so people always kind of get like confused like oh it's another part of the passive it is because it's a completely different part and they get one key at the start of each turn up to seven so yeah i guess good take that with a grain of salt they're gonna be even more disgusting they're gonna hit like legendary goku event like when he hits you super attack they're gonna do that essentially on crack they're actually really good and stuff like that so that's gonna be really them more for again they're perfect and stuff like that they can be really really good so yeah again they're gonna be good again attack Defense down status, stun status, seal status. Again, that's gonna be you gotta factor all that in. And not you no know, attack defense down status. Again, all the different statuses in the game, they're gonna be good with that. Um, we get those up, they're gonna be really good. But again, you can see that like battlefield, not Duck Fest events, some of them don't really do that anymore, but they starting to slowly kind of bring that back a little bit with Duck Fest units. But again, only time will tell when these guys are gonna like ever get the full potential. But yeah, again, the super attack effects will be really great as well. Again, what they did before is Meant to me, I mean, it's a little bit before, but again, they didn't really need the EZA, but I was kind of glad this is our first LA EZA unit. So, yeah, every format for these guys, I guess, could be 10%. percent i know 10%, but every EZA format for these guys, I guess, for a legendary summon LRs would be 10 because it's 10 stages instead of 30. So, I'm assuming it's gonna be for that for every single LR, apparently. I guess it's gonna be like 30%. So, I guess we're gonna see that. Um, 30 of um, 10%, 10 stages because 10 stages, but it's the difficulty of like stage 20, 30, 50. So, 20, 30, et cetera, et cetera. So they're basically bringing back, it's not 30 stages, it's 10, and all the difficulty essentially is like, you know, 10 and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, the, the difficulty is like level 30, like near the end of the beginning though. Again, all the difficulties at the beginning, and there's only 10 stages, which is simple, easy. A lot of people could be like, oh, it's easy, format forever. It's super easy. I 
Honestly, I don't care, honestly. It's 30 stages of 10, it doesn't matter. Get stones. You get 30 stones either way, just like to everyone. Um, just honestly, though, it's, it's. I'm not saying it's mid, if I'm saying that, but it's more whatever, right? So I really don't care. 30 stages of 10 stages, as long as I'm doing these, yeah, as long as I get them done, it doesn't really matter. I mean, not to say that, but still. They're really good, they didn't need it, but yeah. Uh, we also got a new, of course, Piccolo Gohan unit, which actually is really nice. I love that card art. Um, again, this is your card art. Just everything for the anniversary was amazing. So, the Emerald Support Deck unit for reps of Universe 7. And then we have like a new Golden Frieza and Ultimate Gohan unit, which they are extremely up. Um, we have the same unit, honestly, just a little bit lackluster, in my opinion. Um, this one was Tien Roshi, pretty much the free to play version of the physical. Physical skinny, physical skinny, but physical kenpu essentially. Currently 18, I like to just change kind of ant, ant and physical orbs, and I like the more orbs they get for ant, the better they are. I wasn't really impressed with those guys, they're pretty okay. Um, this book is a Krillin, no, T oh, TN Master, real Shin TN Master, really great. You got Goku, love that card art, love his deck effect, probably the best one in the game so far. Um, he basically is a free play version of physical kenpu, like you know, the support unit and stuff, not physical, but the physical kenpu that guy's easy, eh? Um, he's just like, so with Master Roshi and Tien with their support type unit for a representative for seven. They're, he basically, they're the kid boo version of, the kid, physical kid boo, the physical kid boo version of that. This, that's, this is, this is literally Tien and Roshi, but on just, oh, holy crap. Hey! Hey! Chill over. So my dog was freaking out the last couple of days, so yeah. Um, but yeah. Basically, the free, he's the free to play version of essentially physical, you know, physical game. He's basically that on crack. He's amazing. I, he's really good. Probably the one of the best parts of the game for for the universe 7 or just universe 7 in general. You know, Goku's ZZA, I think he gets attack plus, I think the zero skill, like Arm of God's 160. Um, attack and defense was 50% uh, when he's regular, but he does give it nearly a stack attack and defense. And when he transforms, he gives himself, I think, 100 defense and 200 attack. And he dodges every attack. Um, when he transforms, like when he trip transforms into my back here, he will get like, himself 100% attack. And he'll dodge every, basically, he'll dodge every attack in that turn when he transforms. And it's the transformation, transformation conditions are going to be the same. So, Ink Goku Black, Joe Boo, STR Boo, Physical Vegito, I mean, they're all going to keep their transformation conditions. They have Physical Vegito, but they're all going to keep their transformation conditions when they. Easy, they're gonna keep all those no matter what. That, that, all of those uh, transformations are not gonna change it, but they're gonna slightly change the pass up. Like, if you had Goku, they didn't need to change that much. Even Master Master was kind of black when he transformed, but now he's way better. Like, he made him like probably the best easy in the game right now for Goku. So, of course, I think right here was a draw, which is just purely just a log bonus unit for um, the anniversary unit. Um, unit. So, yeah, they're actually really good as well. So. This is the end of the video here for sure though, but yeah, that's my full thoughts for the anniversary. It was great, it was awesome, it was amazing. This was the first ever teaser thing for the anniversary. And I still love the card, it's still amazing, again. Um, I might use it on my wallpaper, but yeah. Gonna go, um, end of the video here though, of course. Um, this is my full thoughts, opinions for the anniversary. All the units work great, this is my full thoughts, opinions. Um, but overall though, um, I just work it. See, I'll probably end it up on the screen right here, so yeah. Um, overall though, anniversary was mostly really great. Again, it's like last year, like, last year, five here hit it. But I feel like I missed the mark a little bit too much, in my opinion. No, it was great. Five years was great, but I feel like I missed the mark a little bit too much. Part three could have been a lot better. Um, part two was good. Part one was great. Of course, like it is for every part. But I'm talking about the five year specifically, though. I do agree, though. It did was like Luster last year. It was great. Trust me, it was great. It was great. It was awesome. Great step in the right direction. So much stuff. But I feel like I missed the mark a little bit too much. I feel like they can give, give us, you know, everybody's been complaining about the weakness from last year. I can kind of agree as well. I feel like they could have given us like more of things like the Super Saiyan 2 trunks and like the Blue Arc and stuff like that. Blue Arc from the, um, yeah, Super Saiyan 2 trunks was in the Blue Arc. Super Saiyan 2 trunks like like that. What if, like, kind of thing. Because he's only in Dokken. It's kind of a crossover character. He could use a Waking. And I know about that too. So hopefully that's that in the future. But yeah, 6 here. Perfect. It was perfect. I loved 6 year. It was so much good in this video. I'll try to upload this video as soon as I can because, again, there's so much stuff for me to upload. Again, 6 year. I'm gonna have all the 6 year videos, like easy A's, all that stuff ready to go. But I do not have, um, I, I just gotta upload them, like, probably the next couple of days because I want to kind of cool, like, they're first kind of cool off first because pretty much already over at this point, too. 66, um, summon tickets was great. Rainbow ticket. Oh, yeah, rainbow ticket. I forgot about the rainbow ticket. It was basically like the PLF trail for global. But basically, you're not buying it, but you just get it via missions and you can summon on the ticket version of the banner, like the UI Goku banner, the Vegeta banner, and the, all those tickets share the same banner. Like, you can summon on ticket version of all the LR, for basically, it's a ticket version of the LR, of the LR banners. Um, but I say, don't waste those tickets because you're doing an LR, um, LR Dokkafest banners because you're going to get way more value, worth it out of that, and 
do this instead of these stupid like nearly some of the banners because they're just poor one bad. But yeah, I'm gonna get into here for sure though. But yeah, I enjoyed the anniversary. Again, six year perfect boom. Um, probably the best easy in the game, best free to play games in the game. I'm not complaining. It was all perfect. It was all beautiful. Doki did a great job this year. You listened. We had feedback. They listened. It was great. That's the whole point of the surveys and anniversaries. I'll put up the video first um, for the anniversary. Um, but the video, no, I'm fine though. Um, my thing, what's up? I'm okay. I think I'm okay. As long as I don't touch it, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, um, play the game video here, like I said, six year perfect, first ever LREZA. Um, which is perfect, it was really good. Again, I don't need to. Actually, the anniversary this year, perfect, perfect. Again, four years was great, it had a whole bunch of content. I think four years actually hit the mark really well. Um, five years was good, I feel like it missed the mark just a little, a little bit. But overall, that one was still great and amazing as well. Again, I feel like it missed the mark just a little, a little bit. Just because, like, you know, because again, we got so much content and stuff like that. It was great. It was awesome. It was beautiful. I loved it all the way through. It was great. But I feel like for part three, I feel like it kind of got drained out the last second. Like, everything kind of drained out. Because last year, part one was great. Part two was pretty good. Then we hit part three. It's like, that's kind of okay, though. But yeah. Um, anyways, though, uh, yeah. Then this year, perfect. 100% perfect. Love you, Goku ZA. It was great. I like LR and um, LR Go Frieza EZA was. And saying the people units were actually really great. Russian and Tina were really great. 18 and Chrome not really that impressive for me, honestly. In my opinion, really, really weren't that impressive. Um, the new UI Goku Lobby was actually really amazing as well. You, you, you do not have the LR. It's actually really good unit for Rupus Universe 7. Or, you know, the LR Rupus Universe 7, the 8 and 1. They're good, but you do need Rupus Universe 7 units only to win that team, kind of. Unless you're like a big Universe 7 fan. Yeah, you're a tournament power fan in general, probably. Like, two is. Um, yeah, you're gonna kind of be like that all day though. But Gordon Frieza and 17 are serious solid as well. Again, they're kind of Gohan Goats, and they're okay. They're, I mean, they're okay, but they're pretty solid, I guess. And solid, um, I'll say, um, not bad, but they're pretty solid. Um, this last one, it was UI Goku. Rest Roshi, loved all the way through, no complaints. LR, the LR UI Goku, Revolution of Vegeta. UI Goku is amazing, disgustingly good. Vegeta's good as well. I already kind of was like Buster. Yeah, he hits uh, he hits hard as Goku, but not I feel like as much. But he still can hit those numbers really high. I think he's just fast and something like that. Um, his, again, you got this the after skill or revival skill. You go use the revival skill once. That was a new thing for the end of anniversary. Basically, you die, come back. Um, the custom mechanic basically with what Vegeta has, was, which which was rumored. But again, it's gonna be like slight changes because otherwise the guy changed the whole sprite work and stuff like that. Like for SA animations. Um, Especially for these guys, Goku's assets, because I'm looking up everything up at once, like the whole asset sheets and everything. Goku's is 100, and I believe Vegeta's is 400, I believe. Because I'm looking up everything up all at once, just for LRs. Because again, just in the game, really he's chugging, just like literally struggling to lower. Legends, not saying no, Legends have like every single day, I can't claim my best. Yet. Um, yeah, those are my full thoughts for everything for the anniversary. I loved it. It was perfect. Everything. Again, we expected nothing. In support memories, which was a new thing, basically, like, kind of like, you know, little moments from, like, the series that had opened up a lot of good potential, like, um, you know, like, just, like, little kind of, like, film things. A lot of people are like, oh, they're kind of bad. They're actually weren't that bad. They're actually really good. Um, I actually did like them myself, but, like, cosme kind of cosmetically, like, there's so much stuff they can do. It's basically any moment, like, from Dragon Ball, like, OG Dragon Ball. We had like, you know, Freezer's Rage from like Nami, GT Goku, like one of those tail really good, you know. Um Gobbly, Christy Gobbler Reese, like again, there's so much they can do. They, I was actually watching some Dragon Ball scenes. Like just every every Dra oh, not every Dragon Ball scene, but a couple of them. Hey, we can get like a like, Dragon Ball Super, we can get like a Goku and Piccolo, like where they're on the roof talking, like we go trying to take a break from like after like Universe Six Seven arc. We can get that as a program. I would love to see that. Um I'm trying to think of it. Know, listen, it's like little mini moments in the series that are actually like pretty memorable, memorable slash, you know, they're, they're going to be active skills or whatever in the future anyway. Or support memories. Now we can actually say support memories if they aren't going to put the extra effort. It's not voice though, sadly, I wish it was completely a little bit more effort like the active skills, but, but they're all still actually really good though. So overall, anniversary, it, it's tried a lot of new things. It was perfect. The rainbow ticket was completely different. The units, the custom mechanics, easy A's, everything about the anniversary was perfect. I loved it. It was amazing. It was just awesome overall. It was great. Nice job, big guy. You did a really good job. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good night. All good night. Again, though, stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. Going out or playing wearing masks. Because there's a lot of people. But what do you guys think about the six year anniversary? What are your thoughts and opinions of? Do you like it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What, to, what there's some stuff that you missed? Maybe there's some stuff that, you know, I didn't cover or say anything. But yeah, I think support memories. I go on day all.
day about it. Like, Demon King Piccolo, like, I declare this day, Demon King Piccolo day. Um, um, Goku and Vegeta when they're fighting. And Beerus, when he gets mad. Like, I don't know, I, I feel like it's giving more back to skill. I think Beerus gets mad, but, um, or, you know, he's about to destroy the planet and he just falls asleep. Like, hello? I got, I, I, Banda, I give you ideas. Please hire me on the team, man. I want that money. I want that money. Please. Banda, hire me on the team. I know y'all watching out there. I know y'all some spies out there. I know y'all some spies. I, I can see through my screen, people. Should have done my screen. I see y'all, Banda spies. I see all y'all. They're always the one. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Banda, put me on that team. Please. Please, please. But yeah, see you guys here though again, though. So, 